If you're a chiropractor watching this video, I'm gonna give you free advice. I've been a chiropractor for over 25 years and I've learned a thing or two and I wish someone would have told me these things. Now that's the title of the video, but the truth of the matter is that I did have someone tell me these things and I was so grateful. Oh my God, did it save me from so many mistakes. And so if you're a chiropractor, and I know there's a lot of chiropractors watching my videos, I'm gonna give you some gems. And if you're not a chiropractor, you should watch this video. And the reason why is it'll give you insight as to maybe this would apply to your, yourself as well as you're gonna learn what, this chiro what these chiropractors are going through. Number one, buy disability insurance. And disability insurance seems extremely expensive, especially when you're fresh out of college. Now, if you are single and you have no kids and you're renting an apartment, then it's probably not that important. But if you have a spouse and you're responsible for a family, and if you were devastated financially by hurting your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, a lot of chiropractors do not take very good care of themselves, ironically. Chiropractic is no different than the dental field and the medical field. And there's a lot of people that are on uh, disability. The one thing about chiropractic that's more similar to dentistry than it is medicine is if you become a medical doctor, you could just write prescriptions all day. You could literally do that in a wheelchair. Try that with dentistry. Try that with chiropractic. Now, I personally have a problem, and I don't like to talk about it much because it upsets my, uh, my wife, but I've always been this way, and it's just the way it is. I'm a bit of a risk taker, and I like to ride bicycles. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie, and I like to do stuff, and I don't want to live my life living in a bubble, protecting myself so that I can eventually get older and die and in my mind, wish I had taken more chances in life. So there are some people that are comfortable with that, and that's cool. And they won't ride a bicycle, but they'll, they'll work out in the gym, but they won't go outside because they're afraid of the sun, and there's various things that could potentially damage you. So you fall down off a bike, break your wrist, you're out of business. The way in which you adjust, and if you, as a chiropractor, Watch other chiropractors adjust. Now, the nice thing is you don't have to go to anybody's office these days. You can just go on YouTube. And what's interesting about YouTube that I notice, I don't really watch a whole lot of other chiropractors because to me, some of them are just, it's just for entertainment purposes. It's not really chiropractors watching, but you watch other chiropractors and you will see that the bi they're young. A lot of the younger chiropractors you'll see, the way they bend forward, the way they adjust the cervical spine, the way they adjust side posture, the way they check legs and stuff like that, they're bending over a lot. They're gonna end up with back problems in the future. They don't realize it um, because they're young. And that's just the reality, man, you know? But I was taught by a guy who had been in practice already 50 years. And when we learned how to adjust in school, and when I was out and I was mentoring with this guy, uh, he was very much into how to protect your own body so that you don't end up with disc problems, you don't end up with shoulder problems. The biomechanics of how you actually take care of patients is important. So sometimes things happen, things uh, are unforeseen. Number one, buy disability insurance. Number two, buy malpractice insurance. I know some chiropractors that don't have malpractice insurance and they say, well, I only use the activator so that's not gonna hurt anyone or you know, I'm real careful, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Now, I don't know if it's because of where I live, but I live in California and our middle name is I will sue you. So lawsuits are very easy to do. All a person has to do is say, I don't like the person. And all they have to do is say, he hurt me. And you've got a lawsuit on your hands. You need a good malpractice company. And I recommend 
either NCMIC or OUM or any other company, but those are the two big ones in the chiropractic profession. Don't skimp. Do not skimp because you need to be protected. The third thing, and this is legal protection, is become a corporation. I'm a corporation. That way, if someone wants to sue my corporation, let them sue. Someone falls down outside my building, let them sue. Someone, someone didn't like the way my, my diplomas were and they gave them cross eyes, let them sue. They can't come after your personal assets. Now, technically, from what, from what I've heard, yes, they can. Anybody can sue anyone for anything at any time. But if you become a corporation and your accountant, and if you can get a lawyer to do it, that's great. Become an, an S corporation rather than a C corporation. You'll save some money on taxes as well as you're going to protect yourself. What number are we on? I think we're on number, that was number three, number four, whatever it is. Here's the last piece of advice I'm going to give you as a chiropractor, and that is a strange piece of advice, but don't be such a in terms of technique. There are so many technique wars in our profession. And what I've discovered is this is not only our profession that does this. The podiatrists do this. The dentists do this. There are different methods of how to approach patient care. And because we're in the chiropractic profession, it's important to us whether you do Gonstead or you do Activator or you do KST or you're an art provider or whatever. And people tend to tag themselves onto a certain technique and there's a psychological reason why we do this. Because everyone wants to feel right. Everyone wants to feel like they're educated and knowledgeable. My best advice is to explore other techniques and methods within the profession. And I know this is going to be discouraged by some technique gurus because they want you all for their own and they're going to tell you it's impossible to learn everything. Really? Is that our capacity? No. Increase your capacity to help patients and that is the best advertising that you can do. When I first started in practice, there were a number of ways of advertising, yellow pages. There was no such thing as the internet. We had to go out and meet people. And what I discovered over years of doing this, the best advertising, and it's almost cliche to say this, are your patients. If you can make your patients better, you can actually grow your practice bigger than you can with big yellow page ads or big internet ads or Facebook ads or what, what have you. So focus on learning, 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 and don't be afraid to think outside the box because I guarantee that as soon as you think you're the best at whatever technique you're focused on, some patient's going to come in where that technique does not work. So that's my advice for a new chiropractor. I hope you have as great of a career as I have had as I start to get closer and closer to the end of the road. I start to think about what can I leave behind and I have tried to help younger chiropractors with technique and adjusting and advice. Some are open to it some are not and I've always been surprised by that because personally I've always been one of those eager to learn people and but if you're interested in learning more I have a ton of stuff on my channel so go ahead and watch this what I'd like to leave behind is this if you're having trouble adjusting the fifth lumbar vertebrae which I found that I'm gonna guess 90 percent of uh, chiropractors just adjust the sacroiliac joints just because they know how or they'll just put the person into flexion and rip ahead and just let it go. I'm going to put a video right down here for you how I adjust L5. I hope you watch it. I hope you learn from it because it's going to make a tremendous difference in patients lives.